What is up everybody YouTube, this is your boy Derek Vincent, back with another video. In today's video, I will be updating you on all the crazy turn of events, chain of events that has happened to me within the last month and a half um, since the last video, to be honest, which was about um, North Face, is our North Face is worth it? Um, so just to get right into it, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, you know, comment, thoughts and everything like that. And if you already watched all the thumbnail, then you know what I'm talking about. So basically, guys, I sold so many pairs of shoes. I sold like 14 pairs of shoes, made like $3,200. Um, and you know me, I barely sell shoes. Like I sold some some shoes I know I was never going to wear again on Macari, but like selling shoes that I wear, selling shoes that I show on the channel, shoes that you know, has a lot of views and stuff like that. I don't sell shoes. I, I'm a I'm a retainer, you know, I keep my stuff. I collect their valuables, all that stuff. So to sell all my shoes, something had to be going on, right? So basically, um, I wanted to study abroad. Me and my girlfriend, we wanted to study abroad in Madrid, Spain for this coming summer. We were with this company, API, right here. And, you know, that was what we wanted to do. And I, at first I asked my dad, like, I was like, yo, um, can you pay the full thing? He was like, nah, I can't, you know, I gotta pay for your school, which when I'm out of state, I'm in college right now, as you guys know. So he was like, um, the best I can do is half. So, you know, all of February, um, I was with, I was DoorDash and I, I work, I'm an RA here at school, but I also, you know, DoorDash for quick money and, you know, other stuff for quick money. But um, I was door dashing pretty heavily to get half and I was close bro like I was like $400 away and then you know um March 18th um was my registration date for college for classes for senior year of classes and the week before that Sunday so it was like March like 13th my dad had called me and left a message and was like yo I just put in like, you know, this amount of money in your account, the rest in your account that I saw, you know, use all that for college, like put all that towards your classes so you can register for classes. And I was like, yo, um, you know, that's all for, for abroad. I thought we had an agreement. And he was like, yeah, but you know, this other stuff came up, da, da, da. you know, I'm not gonna argue with my dad, you know, school does come first, abroad is still technically an educational thing, but you know, it's not the priority. Whereas, you know, being in school, registering for my senior year of classes um, is the priority, right? So when that happened, I became a little stressed out. Um, I was thinking about all these ways on how I can still afford it, still find money. So I was looking, I was on Craigslist, you know, doing like side jobs, all this stuff. And I was like, okay, if I do it as for six to seven hours a day, every day for a week, that's 700 plus dollars a week. And you add that up, and I was gonna make it. And then I was like, you know what? I got all these shoes that are valuable. So you know what, let me just sell my shoes, right? So I, I contacted all these sneaker resellers. Actually, I went to the mall my girlfriend we went to the mall one day and i went inside champs and there was a dude inside champs who i just heard, overheard him talking he was a worker and i overheard him talking how he hit on the e700 v2 creams and i was like oh like let me see and then he was like oh i'm just gonna I i'll show you i'm bragging right now so i got a size 12 v2 cream i picked up manually today on easy supply so i was like oh shoot like do you do this or you just got lucky he's like nah I have like, I buy, sell heavily. And I was like, perfect. Like I am selling heavily. Then he was like, oh, like let's meet up. So throughout the whole week, I was sending him pictures of all the shoes I had and saw him at the YouTube channel on shoes I had and everything like that. And he was like, bet, you know, Friday comes, he only takes like two pairs when I bought, brought him all these shoes. And he took like two pairs. I was like, okay. He was like, we can meet again next Friday. So those two pairs I had, the whole abundance of shoes I thought of, I was going to leave out with like 3K plus. And he only took two pairs. I only left out with 350. So I was like, I got to I gotta make some headway. Like that's not what I was expecting. Literally did that same night, the next day, hit up Matt, other sneaker, um, <clears throat> sneaker resellers and buyers. 
hit them up. They all DM me back. <clears throat> I met them up. Had my dad meet me halfway, brought shoes from home that I couldn't pick up. Drove <clears throat> drove and met these people. <clears throat> Why is my voice cracking, guys? I drove and met these people at their spots, their houses, you know, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, CBS. And I sold all these shoes. I sold the Easy 380s, 700s, V2s, 500s, Jordan 6s, KD. I sold a whole bunch of shoes, guys. And it made, like I said, I made $3,200 in like four days. And I was like, bet, like stuff is looking up. Like the, AP, the program with APIs, but I'm gonna apply now, like finish application, I'm good. I get an email from the, like the from API, they're like, yo, you have to contact your school advisor and have them up, like approve it, approve you, then send your disciplinary records. I contact my advisor. She goes, yes, I approved you. I just don't have your disciplinary records. So I contact the disciplinary office, which is the student affairs, and then they lead me to another number. I call that number, and then I fill out requests for my disciplinary records to be sent out to API in Texas. And then that, they call me again and it's like, okay, we did it for you, but you need to contact the URI International House. So I go to the URI International House last Thursday and I walk in, I'm just like, yo, like I got, you know, I've been directed here. Just want to talk about my upcoming abroad program. Okay, yeah, no problem. I tell them, they asked me, when do I want to go? And I was like, my program starts in May 28th of 2021, this year, two months away. And they were like, May 28th? And I was like, yeah, they were like, of this year? And I was like, yes. And they were like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. No, like... The URI hasn't approved any abroad program since last March when the pandemic first started. And I was just like taken aback. I was like, are you sure? They're like, yes, we haven't approved anything. I'm so shocked the API hasn't told you this. They, I'm, I'm surprised they made you get this far. How, how far did you get? Did you pay anything? We're going to have to get refunds. Oh my gosh, there could be more kids like you who don't know that URI isn't approving any abroad programs. I feel so bad. And I'm just like... I just sold all my shoes for no reason, literally for no reason. Like literally my absence from YouTube for the last month and a half has been due to me just having no time, literally driving all the time, homework and just sleep. Like I had no time for other stuff because I was preparing for this. And then, like I said, my dad throws me the curveball. And then I'm like, okay, I need to go to plan B, sell all my shoes, sell all my shoes, and then have enough for the program. But then the program's like, well, then my school is like, yo, like, psych. So basically, I only have, I still have shoes, guys. You know, you saw my sneaker collection video. I didn't sell all those shoes. But I sold, a, a like, a good, like, 13 pairs of shoes. And it hurt, bro. So... I'm, I'm I'm currently in the process of getting shoes back, you know, have an abundance of money again. So I bought, I purchased this chain, had to, I've been wanting a chain for a minute. It was just, it was a quick like buck 70. Um, and then I purchased three pairs of shoes that I will be showing, showing tomorrow's video that's coming. They're all coming tomorrow, which is great. I want to feel so good walking down with three boxes not gonna lie i picked up some some clothes some packs and i'll be showing you guys so tomorrow i'll have a a pickup video of everything i picked up since the um since selling on my shoes um but yeah guys it was a big bummer so a lot of pairs of shoes i'm gonna have to get back now because you know i like those shoes i don't sell shoes i i might become a small reseller but nothing huge but if it becomes bigger than it is that's not a problem either but um yeah guys so that's the current update on me i sold all my shoes i'll show you guys my closet my closet is empty i'm only wearing crocs i had to sell my easy slides man but i got oh, i just got stuff on the way man so stay tuned for tomorrow's video you know don't be too sad for me because i'm back in the game now i'm back being current back being you know back on this youtube grind i just got an internship for the summer so it's gonna be 
a lot more sneaker content, a lot more vlog content because I'm just going to have, you know, more money, more time at night, da da da. During the day, I won't have much time, but like I said, nighttime is prime time for stuff. So, you know, don't, don't worry about me. But like I said, guys, um, stay tuned for more videos on the way. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for all the new subscribers. We'll be, we will be hitting 500 subscribers soon. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and have a great rest of the day. Peace.